Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up Python on your Windows operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. First of all, we are going to check whether Python is already installed on our Windows operating system or not. And for uh, checking that, what we are going to do is we are going to search for uh, CMD in our search bar and then open the first option, which is for command prompt. And here, when we type Python, and then press enter it's going to open this kind of microsoft uh, store and if it opens the microsoft store option that means python is not installed on your windows operating system now i don't generally install the python from the microsoft store and there are a few reasons for it the first reason is the version of python which is available on microsoft store is not always the latest version of python so at this point Python 3.13 is available on Microsoft Store, but the latest version on official website is 3.14, for example, right? The other uh, reason is that by uh, not installing Python using the Microsoft Store uh, and installing Python using the official website, it will give you the more control over the installation process in terms of where you want to install Python and other flags, right? So let's uh, install Python using the official website. So I'm going to just close all the windows and then open my favorite browser and search for Python here. And the first link which will appear here will be from python.org. So we're going to click on this link and uh, straight away you will see this download option here and the latest version at the time of making this video is 3.14.2 and at the top also you will see this downloads uh, option here and from here also when you click on this uh, 3.14.2 option uh, it's going to download this kind of uh, exe file which is python hyphen 3.14.2.exe file so once this file is downloaded just click on this exe file and i'm going to just minimize the browser so on this first window just check these two options the first option is for the use admin privileges when installing the py.exe and second one is add python.exe to the path this option is going to use the admin privileges right to install python that means it's, it's not going to ask you again and again for your administrative uh, permissions right the other one is add python exe to the path that means uh, this installation is going to add the python binary path to the environment variables that means you will be able to open the python command from the command prompt itself also and then i don't like to uh, go with this option i like to um, use this customize installation option so that it can give me more control over where i want to install python so i'm going to click on customize installation here and on this next window for optional feature i will leave everything as default and then click on next and then on the advanced option window i'm going to check all these options here and this is the path where python will be installed so depending on the version of python python is going to create this kind of folder for you so in my case because i have downloaded the exe file for 3.14 so this installation is going to create this folder python 314 which stands for python 3.14 and it's going to be installed in my program files under c folder i like to uh, save my python installation directly in my c directory so i will remove the program files folder from here but you are free to choose the location so you can even leave the location as default there is nothing wrong in that but this is my personal preference right and then once you are ready click on install and then the installation process will start so this installation process might take few seconds uh, to finish so i will wait for the installation process to finish and now after a few seconds i can see this message which says setup was successful 
And there is one more option which is available here and this is for disable path length limit. So it's going to change your machine configuration to allow the programs including Python to bypass this character limit using this max path limitation. But for now we are going to leave it um, as it is and we are not going to change this uh, limitation and I'm going to just click on close button here which means that our python installation is finished and we can go to the apps section so click on this start menu bar and then click on this uh, all option here and then under p you're going to see the python folder so let's search for the python folder this is the folder so the main two apps here are idle and the python terminal so we are going to see uh, both of them one by one. So let's click on this Python 3.14 terminal option first of all. So it's going to open this kind of terminal. And then uh, you can uh, give some kind of Python commands. Let's say 3 plus 2, which is a valid operation in Python. And then press enter is going to give you the sum of uh, those values. If you write print and then inside the parenthesis under the code uh, just write hi and it's going to print that text for you so this uh, python terminal is going to give you this kind of REPL where you can run your python code and evaluate your python code right let me close this terminal and this time i will open the python idle ide so let's uh, open that so this time I'm going to click uh, idle from here and it's going to open this kind of window. This is also going to give you similar kind of interface. So that means if I want to uh, just perform some uh, Python related operations, I can do that. The difference here is uh, the IDE is going to give you a few more, more options. Um, in a sense that it's going to provide or help you at every step uh, of your coding journey. So, for example, when I type uh, print here and start with the parenthesis, it gives me um, the information about what kind of argument I can give to this print function. And then it also gives me uh, some information about what this print function do. So, it prints the values to the stream or to sys dot standard output by default for now you don't need to know all these things but i just want to mention this uh, to you right and once again when i just type any text inside this print function for example hello here it's going to uh, print that text for me right now from the idle ide you can also create python files so when you click on file and then click on new file it's going to create a new untitled file so you can save this file using file and the save option let me just save this file in the documents folder so here in the documents folder i'm going to create a new uh, folder which is called python apps and inside this python apps folder i'm going to create the test.py file and then click on save which is going to save this test.py file in my python apps folder in the documents folder here right so this test.py file is created and then let me open that uh, test.py file which is this one here i can write any python code right so for example hello world here and then uh, close this code and then to save this file just click on file and save or control s and you can run this file using this run option and then by choosing this run module option or by pressing the f5 key on your keyboard and it's going to run this python script and give you the output in the idle itself you can see the output is already printed here so from the python idle itself you can create the python files right now 
one more option you can use so let me close this uh, idle window also and let's just leave this test.py as opened here for now and let me just search for cmd and i will open the command prompt once again so if you have previous uh, command prompt open just close it and then just open the new instance of uh, command prompt and when you type python version here so python hyphen hyphen version it's going to first of all give you the python version and then if you give the python command here your command prompt is going to recognize and open the python REPL. python REPL stands for read eval print loop which is the fancy word for the utility which will allow you to evaluate your python related commands now here also once again same operations i can perform so uh, so that i can verify that the python commands can run from the default command prompt of the windows 11 also right so i can just um, use the same functions now to quit from this REPL on your command prompt you need to write this uh, command which is quit parenthesis and then press enter and you come out of this python REPL. now in order to run this uh, test.py script from your command prompt right not from the idle id but from the your command prompt what you can do is you can just copy the path from the top here so this is the path so just copy this path and then write cd and then paste your path so uh, control v and uh, just press enter so inside this command prompt we have navigated to this folder where our test.py file is there so our test.py file content is so when i click on open open with notepad it has just this print function right so to run this script i can just write python then test.py which is the name of my python script and then press enter it's going to run this test Got py script using the command prompt and then give me the output in the command prompt itself right so this is how you can install python on your windows operating system and use it to uh, run your python script i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video